it just I didn't I didn't want to believe it when when I first when I first found out. A family is mourning the unimaginable loss of their dear son, brother, and uncle to his young nieces and nephew. After 28-year-old David Olson was hit and killed by a MAX train in Gresham early Thursday morning. It's impossible to make sense of it. It's impossible to, to find um impossible to find answers. It's impossible to understand, and it, it may always be. Gresham police say the collision happened between Northwest Wallula and Northwest Bella Vista. It's believed David was on the tracks when he was hit, a restricted area to the public. He is now the third person killed in the last three years while on the train track stretch between 197th and Civic stations. He was he was Funkle Dave uh, to the little ones and um, always happy to, to jump in and play and, and joke and have a great time. John Howard is David's brother-in-law and shares that David was kind, loving and hardworking. But among all things, he loved his family and making the people around him smile. You know, he, he always talked about wanting to wanting to, to be in wanting to be in comedy. And he and I were always trading ideas and and parts for you know some some stand-up com comic routine that he was putting together i think that we his family were always his favorite audience the family says they aren't prepared for funeral service expenses they've started a gofundme to help offset the cost more than six thousand dollars have already been raised with friends leaving words of support that read David will be greatly missed. He was conscientious and kind and always willing to go out of his way to be helpful. David was such a fun-loving man who treated people with kindness and respect. He was a good guy and deserved to be here longer. We had some good moments. I'll miss you, man. And John has this message for the public. Don't hesitate to make that call. Don't ask permission to go over and visit. Um, you know, don't take any moment for granted because you never know what holiday is your last holiday? And headphones were also found at the scene. Investigators are looking into if they may have contributed to David's death. You can find the family's GoFundMe link at KGW.com. Laurel? We are so sorry for their loss. Thank you, Daisy.